see me a little bit. I understand. I know. I know. I know. I know. Y'all have not seen me in a little while. Some of y'all like. Woo. <laughs> but I'm back. If you're watching this video, let me so I'm here to stay. And I have to be a little quiet because it's nighttime, as you can see from outside. We are here to do a 10 facts about me. I want to make this video so anybody new subscribers would know who I am. Old subscribers, we can have a, video, a better chat. I had a 25 facts about me video up, but if you're watching this by now. That means I deleted the video because, um, I was watching a lot of YouTube people and they're saying YouTube is getting straight on copyrighted stuff and I made that video a long time ago so I have plenty of <laughs> all my songs is not songs that I own, okay? They're like Drake is in there a lot. No. And it went over some things and some things I just don't feel some type of way and that's just so long ago. Like I made that video like in 2017. It's time for a new video, okay? I want y'all to get to know me. I want us to build a family and I want us to build a community because my family on YouTube are going to be actually doing something. We're going to be actually transforming lives. We're not just going to be making entertaining videos, okay? What's up, you guys? If you are new here, my name is Miley and welcome to my life. glad if we finally make this video I, I have a list of videos that i want to make for youtube that's what i'm telling you <laughs> if you're watching this video it's lit is go ahead and press that subscribe button now because it's lit i have things coming and i promise you that i will not leave youtube again so number one um my real name is safari like the african safari i hate that Nicki Minaj's boyfriend is now famous um, because his name is Safari. Well, I kind of got over it now, but I've hated it for so many years that he came out Safari. At least he spells his name S-A-F-A-R-E-E. -E. It reminds us the actual Safari, like S-A-F-A-R-I. So I'd be like, original. But yeah, my name is Safari. That's my running. My last name is Daniels. But a fun fact about me is that my last, I'm actually Cuban. So, my last name is, was originally, my family's last name was originally Daniela, but, to, you know, like, Cuban and America always had, like, these problems, especially back then, like, way back in the day, they changed it from Daniela to Daniels to better feel, fit into American culture. My other ethnicities are... So like I said, I already mentioned I'm black. I mean, I already mentioned I'm Cuban. Clearly I'm black, I'm white, I'm Irish, I'm Creek Native American, I'm Cherokee Native American, I'm Blackfoot Indian, and I'm Hawaiian. And there might even be Puerto Rican in there. I keep forgetting to ask my dad about my grandma. Cause I think I swear she said she was Puerto Rican. But I'm not sure, but I know we're for sure Cuban because of Danielle is. Um, but Hawaiian, we also almost had, they also almost named me my Hawaiian last name, which is Kili Halakai. Um, but they put, left me with the Daniels, but the Daniels got a good story to it too, so I'm cool, boo, boo, <laughs> The reason why I put my name as Smiley's Life on YouTube, I mean, my name has been Smiley ever since I was little because... I've been a smiling child. Even when I was a baby, I was one of the babies who were always smiling and laughing. I was one of the kids who would just go to anybody. Like, you know, I've always just been a very happy, bubbly, go lovely person. Well, most of my life, recent, recent years, I've been a struggle. Well, the more we get to know each other, um, y'all understand what i'm saying i'm gonna post certain things on youtube so that's what i'm like i know y'all understand my life more <laughs> i can't do it all in one video okay but yeah so when it really sucks to me is when my uncle john which is he's my uncle-in-law through my aunt who is my mom's sister my mom's step-sister but um he started to be like hey smile 
Why did I smile? Because every time he see me, that I would just be, always be smiling. And I always like, like in my he's like everybody always tell me like when I have a smile to bright up the room, and I always like people smiling. I'm always I always like to be happy. I always like to bring positive energy and you know keep things positive. So. Yeah, my name is Smiley. Um, that's when I was younger, and my family has been calling me it for so long. People started calling me it. Even for strangers on the street, they just, as soon as I start smiling, they're like, yeah, you have a beautiful smile. Or, like, anybody I'm talking to, like, some people would just be watching me because I'm an empath. So, people just feed into me. So, like, they just like, are attracted to me. And a lot of times I'm always making a smile and laugh. I'm like, oh my God, Smiley, look at you, Smiley, Smiley. I don't know. It's a, it's a name that I've heard from so long for so many people that I just end up sticking with it. And I'm like, that's my name. I like the theory behind it. Like, I'm always smiling and bringing you vibes. I want to get it, like, kind of like a trans step, but, like, smiley in the back and have, like, a wrap around my waist. Um, so my stomach and stuff, I just... No, I waste my my stomach. Oh, I'm so tired. I've been cleaning all day. Um, the reason I told myself today that I told myself anytime I get dressed up that I'm gonna record a YouTube video. And today is my 11th month anniversary of my boyfriend, who I love very much. We'll get into him um soon, but yes. So number two is i am 24 years old 24 yes I, do i look 24 i look like do i look 24 i feel like that's so oh just oh god we're not even gonna get in there <laughs> y'all this is my first time doing my eyebrows i know i could do better but i'm like yeah you know my eyelashes i put those on so fast and this is my first time doing like a certain with doing my lips i think it looks so cute <laughs> all right anyways i'm laughing because of one of the points i'm gonna make it but anyways my birthday is august 14th so i'm a leo um sun but i'm a capricorn moon in ascendant so through my leo sun i feel like with certain situations i can be very confident i think that besides my empathic abilities and my me being empath, I think my Leo ness is what attracts people sometimes, like because I come with a bright energy. But one thing, don't I'm be I'm a little fiery, okay? I got that Leo fire in me, so I'm really nice, I'm really calm, but I also got that fire, so don't play with me, okay? Um, I'm still learning more about Capricorn, my Capricorn side. I know that's where my being kind of my sensitive and my um, emotional um, and my planning. I love to plan everything. Okay, I literally have my planner next to me. I literally have my planner next to me at all times. Like I love to plan everything. My weeks are always planned. Look. My weeks are always planned. The other side of my Leo is that I can be controlling and I can be prideful in an ecosystem. Um, I keep it real. I'm, at the, I'm very blunt. That's another Leo this called a little Leo quality. Y'all will get to know me. I have both sides. I have a fiery, try me if you want to, be side. And then I have a Come, it's so cute. Let's just go sit down at the park and, and eat a, and have a picnic and watch the show. Like I have both sides, okay, both sides. Usually, I love to be in the more loving side. More, I'm, I love to love. That should have been another fact I put on here. But I love to love. That's a big thing about me. I'm telling y'all just extra facts and the facts. This is not even on the list. My love language is acts of service. Um, so. The opposite of people showing love really affects, affects me. Like, the op opposite of actions really affects me. Like, it will break me. Like, if you want to hurt me, 
don't show me love <laughs> if you're somebody that I have love for and it's gonna hurt me but then I'm gonna drop you and then you're gonna miss me and you're gonna be back and I'm gonna be like nah I don't really give people second chances this is another bonus fact I've never actually got to back together with an ex never ever in my life have I ever got in a relationship with the ex again but I do talk to them after we break up and but it's very rare to the point that we're like intimate and stuff so we're gonna move along to number three <laughs> um my relationship status and sexual orientation so let's start off with sexual orientation i am bisexual i'm looking like this my family does not know one of these days i am gonna have that conversation with them and i do plan on like recording like my coming out yeah i'm 24 i feel like i should have been did this my little sister came out in when she was like 12 and i told her but my family don't know they don't know they don't approve they're christian so you know they think that that means i'm gonna go to the hell um my family um they my mom or my no my brother caught me okay my brother caught me with one of my female friends when I was little, little, and we was doing some stuff with little kids should not be doing, so I think that's why my, my family has some type of, like, Sephardi likes girls, but since then, I've only, they only seen me date boys, so they, it kind of got pushed under the rug, but I know, like, because I be making little comments, especially when I talk about gay names, like, or LGBTQ people, then they kind of, like, do like a little side eye with me so they know but we don't have we don't have this conversation like we haven't had this actual conversation but they know <laughs> but they don't know you know you know what i'm saying do you kind of understand if you want to if you have any questions feel free to comment down below um i'll answer it if i feel like it's something that i really have to answer more i'll put it into another video but i will still answer it on in your comments like i always respond to all my comments on youtube so go ahead and comment down below any questions you have right now in the future it doesn't matter comment down below right now i don't have that much subscribers so i will even if it's like a few months later i'm gonna still see it just go ahead and comment you good all right all right i really want us to build a relationship okay i really want us to build a relationship but yeah my sexual orientation is i'm bisexual I like men and women i've had plenty of boyfriends and i've had a girlfriend um People be like, how do you know if you, if I really like girls if you never licked a cootie cat? And I licked a cootie cat before, okay? Anyway, that's just my verification, I guess. I needed validation. Ugh. Do I, I, that means I need more healing work, huh? If I'm trying to seek validation. Oh, God. At least I understand that. We work on it, okay? We, relationship status. I am currently in a relationship with a man. Um, I'm not going to say his name because I like my business to be private. Um, one day he will come on my channel, but right now he's actually in prison. <laughs> I was going to be like, prison? Like, what? <laughs> but, yeah, um, I never see myself being in a relationship with somebody in prison, especially because I know prison talk and people just be saying a whole bunch of stuff just because they're locked up. And it'd be a whole different story when they come out. And I just want to say that I understand, like, I understand, okay, I understand, but my boyfriend and I have known each other since, remember, I'm 24, and we've known each other since, like, 13, 12, like, around then, so, and he's been in prison for a few years now, so it's not like it's just some random prison person pen pal that I decided to write letters to and then we got in love and, and he's playing me like you know we went on each other for a while now he was like super cool we've always had a connection like a weird connection and we always knew that like, I always knew I liked him but and he knew he liked me and we would talk to other people about how we liked each other which is really funny we were young, so we didn't really know how to communicate then. So he would tell people that um, he liked me, and they would kind of be like, oh, like, you know, like, hey, and then 
some of them they liked me so they would be really trying to get, get us together and same and vice versa i would tell my friends not knowing that my friends was really trying to sabotage it you know i've learned a lot a lot this year and last year my mind has been I've learned a lot, okay? I would push y'all on to a lot, too. Y'all just got to bear with me. I got plenty of stories to tell, plenty of advice to give, plenty of things. I don't, I might, I got to move on. Because if I send this back, I'm just going to miss my other facts, okay? I'm out of it. Whatever. <laughs> So number four is my goals for YouTube in life and why I left YouTube. Okay, I never really, to me, I never really left YouTube. I just stopped posting videos. Um, I never planned on going this long. It just got more delayed. Like something in my energy just was killed. Like when I moved back to Colorado, it's just like my motivation went down. Everything. I just wasn't in the right place, and. Like, I recorded so many YouTube videos that will never be posted because I'm not in that space anymore and I don't even care about that kind of stuff. I'm not going to just post it. I was just going to start posting those videos just to post it, you know, because they're good videos. But I'm like, I'm not going to talk about, y'all would not ever hear me talk about when it's going out. I'm always say soon because manifestation purposes. Um... He is going to get out within the next few years. I'll tell y'all that. Um, it ain't going to be super long. But I'm not. I'm gonna saying that one because I learned how energy can turn into spells. Um, and I, I don't want this energy messing up when he gets out. Okay? Like sending verbal curses without even trying. Or maybe trying to. Yeah, there's people in his life who would try to watch this video to get more information out of me. Because I don't tell nobody no information about him, no court dates, no what the lawyers are saying, what the case managers are saying. I don't tell nobody nothing. Because I don't even want people to hang out with him when he gets out, period. I don't have no problem saying that. Don't hang out with him. I don't even want him to have friends. <laughs> Most of his friends um, betray him. Like, snitches. Like, you know? And I really, and they're, okay, and the other ones are just not good influences and I, I know my man's strong enough to be around him and not engage in that kind of stuff but me out of the love I have for him I don't want him to be around certain people but yeah so long story short and next female is gonna be trying to get to me like you know wait till he can't wait till he get out he he's kind of popular so he got fans okay he's not like famous but he well known so I would not ever say exactly when he's getting out one day y'all just gonna see him on my video and be like hey me my boyfriend <laughs> and he gonna be there all right all right number four goals for YouTube and life oh yeah right with there why I left YouTube yeah so I post that's how I was talking about. I post that's one thing I should know about me sometimes I might get off track I'll be swearing like I never went to the doctors but I really think I have ADD because I cannot stay on track that's why I have to make lists and stuff uh, but yeah, why I left YouTube, again, was more of a spiritual journey, um, was more, um, my heart, like, I was recording and stuff, and I enjoyed recording, and I enjoyed redoing reviews, I enjoyed what I was doing, but, I, like, something ended up disconnecting. After I went through my visions, and I would, I started to have, like, a real spiritual awakening, um, and during that process, I just couldn't post. Like, I just wasn't connecting with, like, it just seemed like it was such a drag to try to edit YouTube videos. Like, literally, I would record them from intro to outro. I have at least, at least 30, 40 videos on my Google Photos that I never posted on YouTube that was recorded from intro to outro. I have hair videos that I um, reviewed where I did when I, I showed my braids, I showed my install, I showed how it was a week later, a month later. Like, I literally recorded so many YouTube videos, <laughs> and I just never posted it. Like, I recorded, like, like so much skin routine, skincare routine, like, skincare, um, skin mask, face mask, 
I'm just not on that level anymore. I, my mind is just in a different place. And I couldn't figure out why why I felt like it was such a drain to do it. Because I used to be the type to just record. Um, I would edit my videos at early morning and late at night, like before and after I got off of work. That's how dedicated I was to doing the YouTube. And eventually it just kind of fell off. Like, I just wasn't passionate about it anymore. And, like, when when my kick started to go, is when it started to go off, too. And now that my spiritual journey, I realized that I was doing it wrong. Like, that's not what I was supposed to be doing. And that's why I haven't been that motivated to do it. And now that I'm actually on the path of what I want to do in my life and what I want to do in my channel, which is transform lives that's my main goal with my channel is to get successful and transform lives because the more i'm successful the more i can transform lives um so i want to make a lot of motivational videos i want to make just some videos that are just like me giving y'all advice because i've been through a lot and i have a little sister and some of the things i can see that she's going through she's learning now and i'm like I gotta teach her, I gotta help y'all. Sometimes y'all can still be grown more older than me and I can still help y'all because there's so many things I learned. And like my mom always says, you'll be learning relationships, how to do with relationships and friendships to the day you die. So, you know, I'm here for it. There's so many things I learned, especially dealing with some funny people. People have betrayed me multiple times. I've dealt with so many funny people people like i'm trying to stop cussing so that's why i be pausing sometimes but yeah so my goals for youtube is more to transform lives but i want to have fun while i do so so some videos is going to be serious but i don't want all my videos on my channel just to be so serious and always me giving lectures because i follow people on youtube i'm subscribed to people on youtube like that and i'm like eventually sometimes like it's kind of old like let's just keep it real like I'm the type of person, I don't really like lectures, so I don't like to be lectured all the time. Every time I go on YouTube, I'm going to watch something that's going to lecture me. Like, no, I'm not. I'm really not. I like to watch, like, a motivation video. I like to watch podcasts. Like, those are the things I like to watch. I, But it's evened out with entertainment videos. Like, I like to watch Spiritual Soul, J-Rock of Next. I don't know his name, but he has, there's two dudes that have a podcast channel, and those podcasts be like an hour and a half long, sometimes two hours, three. Um, I forgot his name. He's a white dude. He had Kevin Hart on his channel. He, he makes a little pod, a podcast about everything. There's just so, I have mixed feelings about him, but he sometimes he would be talking about some real shit. Um, but, you know what I'm saying, I like those serious kind of stuff, but then I like to watch Kate, I just got into like, Two weeks ago, three, I got into Kai Sinat, who I will link down below too, because he's really fun, and I love his energy. He could be an ass, he could be an a-hole sometimes, um, but one thing about me is if I'm into a YouTuber, if they're, like, they're entertaining, or they do vlogs or something, I'll watch them from the beginning. Like, I'll literally put, i search on YouTube, and I'll go to search from oldest to newest, and I'll watch the videos from the beginning so I can see how like i'll because i already caught up to him by where he was watching i watched his video the first video i watched of him i believe was the smasher pass live edition and i was like oh we got energy okay this is no this is no and i watched another video because in the recommends it was his video too i was like okay and that's when i was like bet i seen another his few a few other his videos and then i started watching it from the beginning and now i'm all the way caught up i literally caught up like yesterday and then, since I was watching this from the beginning, I met Phantom, and then that's how, when I started watching, when I got up to Phantom videos, they started to show me A&P, and now I watch A&P, I'm caught up on A&P too, I watched it from the beginning. <laughs> but yeah, so I like to watch videos like that, Kai and I, A&P. When I first started watching YouTube more, I used to watch like couples, well no, I used to watch Diara and Ken. Who, who don't know the Arkin and Dama Wilson? Those are the people I used to watch a lot. And it's Judy Sly and Davy Davidson. Those are the ones I used to watch a lot, a lot. Um, and then I got into more entertaining channels, like, and that's why I really got into Walton Paul. And I was the biggest 
Like, I swear I was the biggest fan of Logan Paul. And I say was because I don't really watch him like that anymore. I do want to kind of go back and watch Logan Paul from where I started watching him at because I don't have any beef with him. But, like, around the time I stopped watching him was when he was doing too much KSI training because so he wasn't posting nothing. And I kind of caught a glimpse of this channel last time. I was like, he's still going to be posting. That's what he's used to. But he, but one time he did make a video saying he wasn't going to use it forever. So, and I was like, <gasps> he's like, I know some, some of y'all that might hurt you, someone that might shock you. I was like, well, I did. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, I'm still a little gang for life, but, you know, you know, <laughs> I, I like consistency, which is funny because I'm trying to get back on YouTube from being really inconsistent as hell, like, <laughs> but yeah, I subscribe to consistent people. Um, I like Emory's Closet, too. Those for YouTube, like, yeah, transfer lives, grow and become successful, I want to become... I hate saying I want to become one of the richest people on the planet because money is the root of all evil. But it's true. Like I want to be rich, 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 rich. I don't need. To, I don't even care about the fame. I don't care about going into the world's records. But I want to be rich, 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 rich. Just because I want to help people. I don't want to be rich, rich, rich for my own benefit. I do want to have like a nice house, a nice car, like nice cars, nice houses. Um, so don't get it confused, but I want to become rich enough to the point where I can actually help the people, help people, help worlds, help countries, create companies, create organizations. Like I want to, I want to change the world. I want to do something with my life. I want to change the world. I have a key sense on helping people in my soul. Like that's, I told you, I love to love. So that's like a big thing. I gotta move on because I'm about to run out of space. Okay. Um, so this that leads me to my next part, which is spirituality is a huge part of my life now. Like I've always considered myself some type of spiritual person. Um, but yeah, now it's huge. After my spiritual awakening process, it started with my um, my visions, which is gonna be in my testimony video when I'll post that down below too so y'all can understand. I have videos up already starting to explain certain things and I've been spiritual for a long time. I have if you have to watch my my first time in a spiritual realm video, that's what I'm gonna call it. Um but it's gonna go the first part of it is gonna go more of my spirituality and what I've been dealing with since I stopped being on YouTube. Um because it's been crazy. My third eye, I've awakened my third eye, and the things that I've been dealing with is absolutely crazy. I, we have so much to talk about, so much to talk about. So much to talk about. Um, but yeah, spirit child is a whole, huge part of my life. I now stage myself, constantly healing. I'm still working on shadow work. Um, it's just a huge part of my life. It's helped me so much, especially nowadays. Do y'all see what happened at Travis Scott concert? I think it's time people need to become more spiritual. There's a lot of faces going on, but I'm like, demons are real. And can you only imagine the greatness of good, of light? Demons are real, that means angels are real. If bad is real, that means good is real. If hell is real, that means heaven is real. Like, when I hate, rest in peace, rest in peace. To, I really pray for the souls who got lost at a Travis Scott concert because if they're a sacrifice, what happened to them afterwards? Because how would that help say it was, it was just them dying? Then it's just like one less person in the planet. Like, wouldn't he want like some a soul, like an actual soul? So I I don't know. I just fear. I just fear. Okay, but I'm gonna keep them in my prayers. Okay. So my relationship with my family is. I'm not close to him at all. My dad is, is starting to realize that like there's a problem. He is kind of narcissistic, so he thinks like he never did anything wrong. But he was what people call a half a dad. Like he was around enough to the point I knew who my dad was. Okay, he he wasn't. Oh. Anyways, he was around to the point I knew where my dad was. He left when I was young, young, but he still came back when I was young. 
Um, so we didn't have a, that much of a connection when he came back, and then we never grew into a connection. Basically, I'm not close to most of my family. Um, my cousins in Florida are like the closest family I'm close to, besides my siblings and my mom. They're not like my blood family. They're my step family. Like my grandpa married a woman who wasn't my grandma. Um, after my grandma. So and then they had kids and then you know the kids had kids. So that's how they're my cousin, but not really my cousin. You know what I'm saying? I've been around them my whole life, my whole life, okay? Because my grandpa got with their grandma when I, before I was even born. So that's why they they my cousins. And I don't even think they know that I'm closer to them than my actual blood cousins and the ones in Colorado because they live in Florida. But yeah, love them. Shout out to Trey. Shout out to Dionian. Shout out to Aspen. Shout out to all the kids, shout out to Nikki, shout out to Uncle Tim, NCC, all y'all. <laughs> but anyways, um, shit, gotta move on. Alright, yeah, but I do hope that one day me and my family can build better relationships. As far as my dad's side goes, I don't, I don't think so. Like, I've tried to build a relationship with him so many times, um, and it just fails. Like, they lift me up, like, they hype me up, like, we're gonna have fun tonight, like, you're gonna be invited to this. Like, oh, you gotta come to this, you gotta come to this. I'm like, I'm always down. And then they, they never hit me up. And then I'd be posting, they ever seen them post, like, they'd be doing stuff together, and I'm just like, okay, like, so they wanna pretend with me, but then they get mad when I don't hear nobody up. And they'd be like, so far I disappeared. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. We have a lot to talk about. Moving on. Um, so yeah, I'm an introvert. Um, I'm mostly an introvert. I've never been a huge outside person. When I was growing up, like in the beginning, beginning, I didn't really have real, real friends. I had like school friends and people who I would see that I was cool with, but they weren't like friend friends. Like, you know, you know, friend friends. There were just people that I would talk to, like, you know, and then, but realistically, I didn't really have any most friends. I used to just chill inside my house. And so I started to get like around fifth grade, fourth grade, is when I started to have like my own squad. Um, but even then, I wasn't that close to people, and I like so I stayed home and I was and then I started chilling with my friends when I had like a squad, 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 squad. squad. Um, it, my childhood has a whole big story that I'm not gonna explain today. Um, but yeah, so I'm not a partier. I I can drink and smoke, but I'm not saying like. But I don't like to go to parties. I don't like to go to clubs. I don't like going to hookah bars. I'm just not that type. Like I'd rather be at home with my peace, with my mind, by myself. With now with my now what I'd rather be with my baby. But watching Netflix, eating some food, cuddles up, then just be drinking around a whole bunch of people, dealing with drama, all that. No, 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 no. Especially in this time of life, I, my inner peace is so important. So important. Moving on. Um, it does get lonely sometimes because I don't talk to nobody. Like, that ass. But it's for the better peace of my mind. I, my hair is not really. and But I can be an extrovert as well. Like, if I'm really comfortable somewhere. I don't like going around places I don't know and the people I don't know. But if I'm really comfortable somewhere, then I can definitely, like, be a life of the party like if i be drinking it's just i'm drinking you know that liquid courage is real and i will be the life of the party stop playing with me i will be the life of the party stop you know what i'm saying but most of the time like inside i'm an introvert um i have a social anxiety so if i get around too many people at one time my heart starts beating really fast and i start kind of freaking out i start messing up and um like whatever I'm doing, I just am messing up. I believe this stupid because I'm like, um, be like, yeah, like making words that shouldn't even be that hard to know. Like seeing so making it seem like it's so hard. It's just, it's just so annoying. Like this is my life. Move on. Um. Oh, okay. So nine and ten. Nine first. I want to explain something that I do not like people I cannot stand. And then ten, I want to explain something that people can't stand about me because it's only fair, right? But number nine, I cannot stand people who are too bougie, ratchet, 
who were, were born with a silver spoon in their mouth, which means that they don't really know stroke. I cannot stand for that. What I mean by too bougie is you can like to have nice things. You can know you the fish and be confident and be like, you know, have morals and have a little prep to your step. But I can't stand preppy, preppy, preppy. Oh my god. Look at his little pump. Oh my god. Look at, I, I, no, I can't do with that. Like, I'm too much. Like, it's too great. Like, like people who think that they itch don't stink. Like, I can't stand those people. Like, I can be a little bougie sometimes. You might see me flip my head. You might see me like, oh girl, yes, you know. Like, but yeah. But ratchet, I can be a little ghetto sometimes. But ratchet is what I'm not like to the point you're just so loud and not saying I've never been loud before, but just like y'all know what ratchet females are right now. Y'all know what ratchet is. So there's ratchet dudes too. Y'all know what ratchet is right now. I'm not ratchet. You I have class. I can't stand people I should have said no class, not ratchet, but no class. I can't stand people who don't have don't carry any stuff in some class. One thing about me, as soon as people meet me, they say I carry myself very well. Um that's one thing I always say about myself. I'm not even trying to do anything special. That's just what people say. Because I'm, I guess it's just the way I was raised. Especially because I was an introvert. Like, I never got hit to some of the way that people act. And, like, I used to see memes and stuff. But now I really understand why people say certain things about people. And I'm like, nah. So, yeah, I don't like rashness. I don't like bougie-ness. I don't like people who never struggled before. Because it just gives them a personality trait. That's just like you don't understand like the way they think the way they talk they like, just hope that their personality they do they do certain things the way they spend certain things the way they act certain certain things it's hard to explain it to like a one thing but yeah we i just don't lie with people who never struggled before or who never experienced some type of struggle before because i don't know it's different personality now my kind of want to act up again when i'm about to end this number 10 i'm gonna try to finish this fast what people don't find find annoying about me is the fact that I switch up. People can say I switch up because I'm the type of person, like, I'm so nice. Like, I'm too nice. And, but, it's not like I'm just be too nice forever. If I peep something about you, it might, well, I'm too nice, so it might take me a minute to really peep something about somebody. And, like, you know, people be trying to tell me, like, this person ain't your friend. This person, you know, saying watch out like you're I'm like, nah, that's what you're doing. I was too nice to people. But once I peeked that, once I peeked something, once once the actual facts happen where you actually disrespect me, then I'ma switch it up. Then my whole energy gonna change, especially if it's something that I talk to you about. I tell you I don't like this, this is disrespect. One thing I hate is disrespect. I can't stand when people disrespect me because it's like who are you? Because I, that's what I'm so nice to people. I, one thing about me is a lot of people, you have to earn their trust and, you know, you start off from zero, like how it's supposed to be. Well, but with me, I start off with, like, like, love and care, and I show you a lot because I even grow up around a lot of people, like, because I was more inside, so I grew up around a lot of families. So when I open up my friendship group, or my, open up my group, my circle, I love you as family. So I get betrayed, and I get hurt a lot, you know. Um... But that's how I would switch it up. Because once I peeped it, that you saw me, I was like, yeah, I wasn't expecting you to be. You, that's when you're going to get less of me. Like, instead of me giving you less and you gaining more, I give more. And then the, when I peep certain shit, I start to give less. So people are like, oh, what's wrong with her? She switched up. She's not doing certain things. She's not doing this. She's not doing that. She, not, she acting funny. And it's like, no, I'm just acting like how I should have been acting to you this whole time. But yeah, there's only 10 seconds left. So I just, I'm so grateful that you guys are watching this video. If you're watching this again, it's lit. And I'm so glad you guys are here. My name is Smiley. Like, share, and subscribe, and turn it up.